Okay, I'll upload this back. You had a couple problems. Um, problems, just things that are hard to recognize. You, you replaced, you had everything called attached to a page called template old. Okay, that was probably the original one. Um, see, up here, I looked and I went, huh, because I updated, I took a look at your DWT, I saved it, it only updated the primary.css, nothing else. So I took a look to see what they were attached to. They were attached to template old. So I just simply renamed your template to template old, okay, and uh, saved and updated. That got the advertising in there. Uh, your Nevo slider, the problem is this right here. That's a bracket. That's the wrong type of bracket. It's a That's a nice curved bracket. You need the curly one, okay? If you can tell, because down here, all your class names should be in pink in Dreamweaver, right? And this one's in blue. So that tells me there's something above it that's screwing it up. So I'm going to really do, put one of those in. Oops, shift key. And now you see how it's back to pink. So any of these would would not follow the display none rule because they weren't properly commented out. So now we can take a look here and hit refresh and when I hover over it's not going to drop down because all that was happening it wasn't pushed out of place is when you hovered over the previous and next was pushing the picture down because the display none was not uh, not being uh, utilized and there we go. Okay, I'll upload this back to the server. Oh, what do we got going on here now? Why is that showing like that? Hold on. Yeah, the problem was um, that's all sorted out now because we actually we have to add position absolute and then we use a negative positioning to make sure that even though it's display none, if the text is showing, which it still was, like the button is gone, but the text, which is the placeholder, which is created through JavaScript. Anyways, I'll upload this all back to the uh, server for you.